مشاهدينا الكرام اهلا ومرحبا بكم في حلقه جديده من برنامج رواد الاعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقه ان نستضيف رجل اعمال مميز او سيده اعمال مميزه رحبوا معنا اليوم بمستر زايد صاحب الزايد تشيز اند تيلز هاي هاو ار يو مستر زايد ام ثانك يو فور اسكينج ثانك يو ثانك يو مستر زايد مستر زايد كان يو تيل اس اباوت يور سيلف اند وين ديد يو ستارت يور بزنس هير ان يو اي اي Yes okay thank you for thank you so much first of all thank to you. give me the opportunity to talk about from your platform thank you so much I really appreciate you giving me yes, time so Yes actually I come in this country in 2006 mm. and I start to work with my father for years mm. and the, my father had the refugee industry so basically we are making tents in our Uh, Pakistan factory mm. and we uh, sending with United Nation and with different um, orga- NGOs organizations mm. and end of the 2010 end um, I tried to make my own uh, company mm. and I request my father to allow me to go out mm. and it was very hard but unfortunately <laughs> I get the chance to do that yeah. so um, then 2000 Uh, because of I feel actually because of the the way I want to run the business and visions so it's kind of little bit difference from me and my father way of thinking so I get the permission I start in 2010 end yeah. and first uh, 23 January I register our company name Alzai Shades and Tent Industry basically we are a manufacturing shades and tents mm. so um, then from there I start from nothing actually to be honest my father have one condition and he mm. say if you want to go out so you yeah. start from scratch <laughs> I don't give you anything yeah so <laughs> like because of his, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's not happy to <laughs> go for uh, out of the family business yeah. so i accept this challenge and then we have little family you know sometimes have the, mm-hmm. when you're younger you have little issues you know so anyways short story i go out and i start from scratch and i don't have any feels yeah. only what i have believe and vision and uh, want to do something in my life the spirit what i have when i left my family business and uh, i just start um, from i remember like uh, even when i take the warehouse in jabal ali freeze uh, jabal ali oh, okay so and uh, yes and also you know when i give the check to this real estate guy and uh, he tell me it will be pass because you just start to open the business i say me i wish it will be pass <laughs> but i have Yeah. clear intention and I will make sure you get your rights mm. so anyway and uh, the f- start from the warehouse I remember the first check was you know is not clear second and third and all the time he pushing me why you know paying money I say me don't worry one day it will become I will pay you full money mm. but I know end of the year in 2000 before the 2011 end I get the funds I get the project so I pay off everything then I remember from equipments you know i start from buy the welding machine yeah. and uh, you know the small small equipment all the machine i buy from the scratch and i buy the i i, I hire the people for technician first of all and the, unfortunately i don't have any background for this business yeah. and is very technically oh. all is engineering work mm-hmm. and uh, but uh, you know when you believe yourself and you are uh, you yeah when you believe your goals and you you know what you have to do in your life mm-hmm. so you stick on it and you have passions and you have to should be achieve you know so you will reach mm-hmm. so i remember from one welding machine hire one person then second then third you know and slowly we grow towards to the our goal and our vision mm-hmm. and 2000 and this actually go by three years very slow around you know because of the business is go slowly move to make the name mm-hmm. qualities yeah. and the teams and the professionalism mm-hmm. and then after in 2016 we enter with the mega project of UE we get the ministry of education and till that time we working with very small projects but uh, suddenly by luck or you can say by or, you know the continuously four year passions from 2011 till to, to, or five years passion so 2016 suddenly we get the project from ministry of education al maktoum international airport we get with al nabuda group 
and Warner Brothers also we get the project. So all together is was is big number. Is we are talking about 35 million dirham. The suddenly we get uh, nowhere. <laughs> and then we have second challenge to how to complete this all the project because our facilities were very small and the funds are you know required and we need huge team to complete this project yeah. and. Uh, uh, sometime, you know, my few people have said we have to regret one of two projects. We cannot carry on all. Yeah. I said, no, <laughs> we should do that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the chances come one in the life. And what I see in the life, you know, when you start the business and you have passion, suddenly you go slowly. Mm -hmm. So automatically after a few years, you get one big chance. Oh. And then you go slowly. And then after a few years, you get the big chance. So you should have passion and you should wait till you get the turn. And it will become. Mm -hmm. If you are so hurry and if you are so push yourself to get so fast, the most of the time you lose the passion, you lose the hope. You lose the faith and then you'll start to fall down because as soon you lose the faith and hope so you get start to afraid the moment you get afraid your negative energy or negative mind is start to pushing you towards to back because a positive mind is you have energy and uh, your vision you want to ahead because as soon you start to afraid it will be go back and there's a lot of time i where i feel oh it's impossible i can do that this if i looked up uh, materialist things like uh, area wise mm -hmm. equipments people and cash flow mm -hmm. to finish the project I can I can easily can say is impossible mm -hmm. but the willpower the God give you every human being if you have strong willpower and you believe yourself and you have good intention and believe me the world help you to reach in that yeah. directions yeah. and that exactly happened to me you know and then and now end of the story i finished this all the project and, and then that. after that we defined the company our company and we create the proper department then we create the prop proper policies towards to the departments and then today we are uh, one of the leading company in our industry and uh, we do a lot of mega projects all the most of the time now the coming five years all the mega project is with us and uh, we are well known about our quality we are well known our engineering work and uh, we do very special design yeah. because of we do everything out of the doors actually because of anything because this country is so you know the temperature very high mm -hmm. in eight month or ten yeah. month every yearly 40 degree we are living mm -hmm. so if you put outside your car and if you put outside any play equipment or any shades so basically every single house every single building any single park and any area you need the shared area mm -hmm. and also the second industry we have the tents so most of the ramazan events mm -hmm. the other events because in the hotel industry you don't have the much big area to do mega events so we do entire the tents events as well include from the tents from the lighting from the ac from a platform the everything to create full entire events and we do share muhammad actually yeah. uh, al maktum mm -hmm. event as well in the in the uh, in uh, uh the, i forget the name of the road at the Ittihad road was open yeah. to sheikh uh sheikh muhammad. Yeah, sheikh muhammad was there and Sheikh Mohammed uh, Nahyan from Abu Dhabi is there, and Sheikh Mansoor was there. So all oh, the oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I have our oh, company, leader, yeah. yeah, all the leader under one of our umbrella. So yeah. it's very proud for us and yeah. special. The Vijni people, you are these people are really for the country. Actually, I love to read the history. Yeah. And the, how these people are caring about the country and about the, our own people, the special vision. Um, really, it is, uh, you can see today, one of the best developing country and uh, one of the best infrastructure company mm -hmm. and uh, freedom, a lot of things, you know, here. And with this kind of vision, we do the all the sheikhs under our tents. Mm -hmm. And there is kind of, you know, proud for us and kind of, you know, we reach somewhere when you can get opportunity, this kind of people trust you and you have yeah. the project from them mm -hmm. and you succeed well. So this is really nice for mm -hmm. us and uh, things. Yeah. And I feel um, what I learned from this all because of I start from scratch and all the time I request my team and also the youth when I come to the my uh, industry or our company i always explain them so you have to from day first you have to create goal in your life and always i give the example if you want to go from dubai to abu dhabi mm. so you first of all you know you want to go to abu dhabi this is the, your 
vision. Yeah. And then you decide the timeline, how many times. Yeah. Because the time is very important in the life. If you just keep open the things, mm. so then you no one irritation you, oh, you are late, you know, because you keep you open, rich, yeah. you, you keep open time, the things. Yeah. So time is very important. Yeah. The same thing in the life, when you decide where you want to reach. Because today when I see, because when I take the interview in the people, and when I ask the youth, even some I ask experienced people, what I feel the gap, the, the number one people have different education. Mm. Number two, people have different nature. Mm. Number three, people have different skills. Yeah. So people are basically different, belong to different education done, and his nature is different, and his skill is that difference. Yeah. So people know the work is on sales. So when you have different area, mm. so what happens, you not reach succeed, because of when your nature is not support you, your work, mm. so you get tired, you know, mm. you don't want to work, because it's not your passion. Yeah. You do for the, just whatever the pressure and whatever the responsibility on your shoulders, you have, you just support, you know, for your family. Mm. But if you just take care of your education, I sometimes say education age is not belong to us sometimes because if we go to any education surrounding our fathers, our mothers say, okay, this education is good. Sometimes we say our fam, uh, our surrounding of the, where we're we living our community, or where everyone go for like engineering. So we say, okay, we go also engineering. Yeah. So I can say it's not our main selection, but mm -hmm. after the education, immediately we should know what is our nature yeah. and what is our skill. If we combines all together education, or if not, at least the That's other two good, things, yeah. the skills and nature. So then is immediately you can, I think you can fast growth on that uh, sector, either you are a working person or either you are a business person because this is two things in the world. Mm -hmm. So, and then if you're a working person, then you should know what you like to work, mm -hmm. which industry you like to work, mm -hmm. which nature you like to work. Mm -hmm. If you focus on that area, don't go just for opportunity. Okay, I get this opportunity and I start the work. Then you grow, become very slow mm -hmm. and you work year and year and you don't reach never anywhere. Mm -hmm. So you see the 95% in the life, you, we see the dream when we are in five years old. Mm. What we see the dream, okay, when we become big, we have this car, yeah. we have this house, yeah. we have <laughs> this kind of woman All in our things, life, yeah. you know. So unfortunately, sometimes we know reach mm. because of, uh, we know do proper plan mm. and uh, we know do the milestone, we know create the, you know, the stress to go one step, then second step, then yeah. third step. And we know put any timeline mm. because of, if you put some timeline, then something annoying us. Mm -hmm. And the most of the time when I see the uh, people uh, confused in his life, he don't know what to do with personal life, he don't know what to do with professional life. Mm -hmm. So either we march together, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we should have divided. Yeah. We know, okay, we have 24 hours, so eight hours we have to sleep. Mm. Okay, and uh, at least eight hour or six hour we want to work. But when we want to work, we should work with our mind. Yeah. Because if we work from mind, these have really good benefits. But when we work with the body, we get very less amount. And we work year and year, we don't reach anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we should, again, we should sit ourselves and we create the goal in our life instead of we just go and always I say to people like, you know, I want to reach here, for example, this is Abu Dhabi. So there is one road can go one city and second road can go third road. I will choose this road. I will go for some time and then I saw, no, no, I don't like this road. Mm. Change the road. Change it. When I change the road again, I don't like this, I go change the road. Yeah. So by this way, we never reach our yeah. objective yeah, so because we're changing. And that's what I see in the life when you're changing, because why you're changing, you never sit and you never make proper plan, yeah. okay? So when you change, the, what is the negative happen? You lose the entire time, which you spend two years yeah. and other years. Yeah. So always I'd say the people, the 20 years, your age from the day first to 20 years, you know, under your control, mm -hmm. under your environment, your family, your community or whatever. Yeah. But after the 20, till 20 to 30, it's a very important timeline. Yeah. There you can sit yourself and create some at least one objective of the road. Okay, this road I want to go. If this road, if you choose, you go by walk or you go by cycle, you go by car, you will reach in the end. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of time. Mm -hmm. But if you not create your objective and your road, you never reach anywhere. So that is very important time. And after 30, you know, most of the people, uh, 
understand the life and then what happened with that time we get the liability yeah. so when we get the liability we don't have the choice to from that time to choose something else mm. we just follow what we are doing yeah. and then we give to advise other people <laughs> so but so better uh, I always say to people whenever you get mature or whenever you realize immediately sit with yourself because at that time for example you reach in 30 this line Till that time, you have a lot of options. You choose one, you reach here. But from here to ahead, we have a lot of other options. Yeah. So we don't forget 20 years is just go. We just pass in reality, in practical life in 10 years. Mm -hmm. And if the balance 30 years till 60 age, if it's a working age, only mm -hmm. still 60, yeah. still we have 30 years. Mm -hmm. And this 30 years, if we go out of the plan, we don't reach anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Again, we struggle. Mm -hmm. So we should, what all the time I say to the people, if you're afraid, and if you don't have willpower, you don't believe. Mm. And if you don't have faith, so you're always afraid. Yeah. When you're always afraid, you never reach anywhere. Yeah. Because of your negative skills uh, or negative muscle become very active. Mm. As soon as you dis activate, it stops you everywhere. Mm. So be positive, like we have right hand and we have left hand. Some people using right hand, this right hand is very strong compared to the left hand. And some people using left hand and right hand the weak. Yeah. The same thing, we have two minds. Mm. One, we have positive, and one, we have negative. It depends on us which we want to more active. Mm -hmm. Because if positive more active, we really like our, we, we can make plan, we, whatever we think, we will do that. Mm. If we negative mind, we active, you know, all the time inside someone yeah. stop us. Yeah, yeah. So, as a summary or as a bird view of the life, we make our 60 year plan. 20 years is not our control, but 40 years in our control, or at least 35 years, even after 25, you understand, 25 years we have our control. And if we sit and we plan against our nature and we see where the world is go, we sit a little bit, we go to somewhere, and then we decide one, and then we carry on, I think we reach somewhere. Mm -hmm. And today what we need in the life uh, people should be, instead of so much confused, people should become up, come out. And number two, uh, instead of selfish life, we have to shift to the caring world. Mm -hmm. Because of the, in the end, the happiness is not in the things, happiness in the peace of mind. Because some people thinking, my happiness with the car, my with happiness house, with the house, with house yeah. my <laughs> happiness with the cash flow. Believe me, no. when you have, because this is an economic mountain. Mm. When you reach in the top, then you say, okay, that's it. No, yeah. the happiness, everything in your in mind. mind yeah. And this mind, USB in your hand. Yeah. Whenever you want to remove, remove, and you update your software and you put back again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so every single day is important you have to enjoy. Sometimes we say, I will not enjoy unless I know reach somewhere. Yeah. That is, I think we don't have tomorrow, either we are in this world or no, mm -hmm. so-called, but yeah. Unfortunately, we should every day we should enjoy. And number two, we should well plan in our life. And number three, the human have only three powers. Mm. Planning, intention, and work. Yeah. The sexy, don't take yourself. Mm. Leave on the you know, rest of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you believe, leave out. Yeah. But these three things, do passionately, you will succeed wherever you want to. Yeah, as yeah. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Zaid. Mr. Zaid, can you tell us, uh, in, as you know, there is a lot of competition here. So how you make your company uh, special? Actually, um, every business, not only you, every business, after uh, 2000, the competition is every year is increase. Mm -hmm. Before 2000, there's a less competition, 19, like uh, 80s. 90s, 95, or there's less competition. But after 2000, 2005, I can see increase. Then 2010, 15, 20, the in, the competition is go high. Yeah. So basically, most of the people also afraid. Oh, this business, so many people already. What I can do? No, no, no. This is not a thing. Yeah. You can do because of you know the before Amazon. Now suddenly coming new noon in Dubai. Yeah. So so basically, competition is never until the rest of the year and year. Mm -hmm. It's co-increase. Mm -hmm. You should first of all believe yourself. And the, any industry you're going to enter, there's a three category people. Mm -hmm. One is like a very big industry people. Every industry we have three people, like 
very big companies like here in Dubai Alpha Team, in the car like Mercedes, then mid level of company, then small level of company. So first of all, you see which area you want to get uh, a hit, which mm. customer, which category you belong to. Mm. If you have that much of funds, and if you have that much of uh, professional like uh, equ equipment and the inf all the things, then you go go directly. You want to hit to the biggest in person on that industry. You can easily hit. Yeah. You should very important any industry you come. You should define where you want to hit. Medium business, mid level business, or high. If you enter in the media business, then you see which kind of audience is there. It's all about to the infrastructure of business, basically. Most of the people are say, I cannot do business, I don't have the money. No, I do the business when I don't have one fills. Yeah. And here I suffer, to be honest, I share with you, two to three, three days I don't even can eat. No. That is my actually story. Yeah. And even, and I have the character, I cannot ask people money. Yeah. <laughs> so, like we say, you start from zero, yeah. So, yes, so, so. <laughs> Don't think, yeah. don't think like yeah. you need big money in your life to mm. reach somewhere. No, I think that what you need to you should clarity in your mind. Yeah. Whatever the industry come, you should choose which industry you want to go. Mm. And number two, what is the audience is required? Do proper marketing, then proper uh, product uh, valuation. What is the market price? From where you get, where you sell. You have two things: either you trading or manufacture. Yeah. If you manufacture then you have quality, then you have design, then you have everything. If you are a trader, then you find the good partners who can give you the good quality, who can give you the, or, you know, make a good partnership. So it's all, sorry, it's okay. what you want to go to do in your coming life. Yeah. So you should like, if you want to take the business, if I get to give you the summary, if you want to do the business, you first, either you want to do trading mm -hmm. or you want to do the manufacturing. Yeah. If you want to do the trading, the different mechanism are there, but the marketing and sale and product knowledge is very important. You have to do that. If you are manufacturing, then you should be design, quality and all the things you have to do that. But don't scare from the market. Market is always the, every single year. The competition is going to higher, higher, higher because a lot of people come to the world. Yeah. A lot of people <laughs> are going to join you. This you cannot stop. So you and so you have to leave it with this. Don't think, don't afraid. And there's a one law for hiking. When you go on the mountain, there's a law, don't look up. Yeah. Because when you look up, you get scared. Yeah. You get scared. <laughs> yeah. Because, oh, I cannot go this high. The, what is the law? Enter and just carry on. Mm. And one day you will reach. Yeah. Because you look so far, sometimes it make you afraid. Mm. As soon as it make you afraid, it's go to the negative mind. And it's take your energy down. You know, and most of the people also your surrounding when you ask, what do you think I can do? Don't be believe yourself. Yeah. People give you his opinion, but you should know what your capacity and you should know what you can do that. Yeah. So that's what I can say. You can enter the business. Competition is everywhere. But Dubai competition, I say, is very healthy competition and the very professional competition. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot of demand for every business here. Mm -hmm. And Dubai can teach you a lot of things because of the way infrastructure is working. I learn a lot from this country because of really if I do the same business for other country, maybe I cannot learn that much professionalism. I should stand internationally mm -hmm. how to create the entire department from the marketing to handover to how to make the, your client happy, how to make the business growth. This all is art. Yeah. And if you know how to make the business run, then you don't need to money. Yeah. The, do you think the money, no, there's a lot of people I know have too much money, but people don't know what to do with this money. Yeah. The I business is an art. You know, if you learn this art, how to do that, believe me, you can do. Of course, the money is very important when you do the big scale, but from small scale you start, then automatically people come or sometimes you create the money and with the time banks come to help you, investors come to help you, and you can go. But start, don't think too much, don't think who is the biggest. Think how we start from there mm. and how many years he start. Yeah. Don't reach where he's reached today. Mm. <laughs> start from your where are you now? And from easy to from zero to go one, two, yeah. ten. Mm. But it's very difficult to stay in the top. Yeah. And uh, that I think uh, I can say the competition is always there. Yeah, thank Don't you, Mr. Zaid. Mr. Zaid, can you tell us about your future plan? Uh, all I think the, for every country and every company and every family, because there's a three stake in the world. Yeah. Um, some people working under the country and then 
the second part of the under the companies and third part under the family each one is a big people how the father is big company yeah. owner are the big yeah. the country the prime minister yeah. is another big yeah. so that is a three category in the life so what i feel uh, what, or what i understand from my uh, experience mm. so basically your question was uh, what is your future plan again i say this is a very important you have to create your vision which i tell you earlier if you don't have the vision and you don't have the map to reach to the vision and how you create the vision we normally create every five years plan mm. you know the my coming five years where i'm going to reach yeah. and especially uh, sorry especially i want to explain people when pandemic just we just passed the pandemic mm -hmm. and you know what happened the corona pandemic coming a lot of company go down yeah. a lot of uh, economic lot of issue coming yeah. and this is things not in our hand mm -hmm. we call risk risk factor you know it's just coming sometime mm -hmm. but i think in corona time we do well because immediately we increase our sale mm -hmm. from ue we go to the saudi arabia as well we go to the qatar we mm -hmm. increase our market mm -hmm. because of here whatever we do our share so because of the market is less because of whenever any industry is 100 percent cannot shut down yeah is a percentage where any pandemic or any recession is come is before for example 100 percent demand for 100 dirham or 100 percent demand it will be reduced Sometimes it reaches 70, sometimes it reaches 50, mm -hmm. sometimes it reaches 40. That is the maximum, I think. Mm -hmm. But other country, when you go, so you add something from this country, go to other country, get something from there, go to other country, get something here. You can manage all, anything. Whenever you have issue, there's two options. Blame, sit, or get afraid, or blame the pandemic, yeah. or get brave and make planning according to the situation and go file back. You know, mm. so that is a two option, and that is a vision. Mm. People are come, and that I say the real business people are come because of the business people from the you know the mindset. These people is mean risk. Mm. If you not take risk and you not go out of your comfortable zone, you never take off. Yeah. You so you have to take to risk. Yeah. You have to not afraid. Mm. Always I tell to my people, don't afraid in your life and you have to come out for your comfortable zone. Mm -hmm. Then you take off. Like aeroplane is very happy when you stay in the airport. Mm -hmm. But as soon as take off, there's so much wind, uncomfortable. But when you take off, you reach your second, mm -hmm. wherever you want to reach. So that's what I want to say. The vision is very important. So we actually, after this pandemic, we learn a lot of things. We go to Saudi Arabia, our company not there. Mm -hmm. We go to Qatar mm -hmm. and we go to the Africa market as well. Mm -hmm. We increase uh, actually our sale. We go to the different area and what we learn in case because of what I see when internationally this pandemic is come, some countries are really suffering and some countries still moving yeah. so like africa is not that much of effect you know and yeah. or even if effect you know that much of active restrictions are there mm -hmm. so you have to go in different world so you can manage yourself that's what i say this is the first thing whenever you have any issue you go to out of the box you increase your sale you increase your marketing because of the in the end in the company the biggest thing market because of from where people know you people come to you and second thing is second I can say that is a sale department because sale is your engine. Yeah. And the rest of the, you know, the buggies you have behind you, the engine you are strong. Believe me, you will reach where you want to reach. Maybe a matter of the time when you're on the road, sometimes you have the hum, sometimes you have bad road, yeah, you sure. slow, you stop, you put the patrol back. Yeah. You big, when I say put the patrol back, mean you refresh yourself, yeah. you make replan again, yeah. and then you carry on yourself. But finally, you yes, yeah, finally, yeah. and in then try your best. Yeah. Believe yourself, don't afraid, and positive mindset to reach you somewhere. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Zaid. Mr. Welcome. Zaid, as you know, there is a we are in the best country in the world. So, uh, how does that help you to invest here in Dubai? Actually, uh, whenever we come to the investing area, yeah, this is our life actually. Mm. So, what what we looking in our life? Mm. The first question we looking first thing is safety. Mm. If I have too much money and I'm not feel safe, I can do business. You can, yeah. Yeah. I cannot do anything. <laughs> I can get afraid. I cannot go out. And yeah. with the money, I cannot enjoy. Yeah. To pay the first thing, I have a lot of Western friends. I ask them, why you are here? London is also good. Yeah. America do well. Canada do well. Australia, yeah. why you are here? Because I hear, mashallah, from across the world, people are yeah. here. 
So most of the people are saying the first thing is a safety. Safe and security. Number two, the business infrastructure are very easy mm. and very fast and very professionalism. Yeah. So when I say is open, the infrastructure uh, that this country with the way is created is very open. Anyone can come and can carry on. Yeah. But some countries, no, it's go by, you know, the link wise and other way wise. But this country really is create very nice infrastructure yeah. and safe. And I see a lot of people are coming here for nothing, like one of the me and read somewhere, you know, yeah. and learn a lot of professionalism. I don't know. I don't learn from the education. I learned from this country, yeah. you know, the professionalism, all the department of the marketing, mm -hmm. because of most of the, the, you know, the create the infrastructure in this country, it is a really well planned. Yeah. So I can say to everyone to investment, first of all, the safety. Number two, education is the best. Like Sheikh Mohammed all the time say, mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. So, and the number one is all the sector, either health, as a business, as a tourism, as a safety, as a police, yeah. everything. When you have, you know, your back is full secure, yeah. your money is secure, and uh, as an investor, economic is secure, mm -hmm. and there's not too much flashation. So that's what you need as a business person. Yeah. And there's a lot of opportunities in this country. Mm -hmm. And I see my lot of, you know, the friends are even working with different country, but investment only in Dubai, mm -hmm. because these people feel super safe. Yeah. These people see we can enjoy our life. We can do whatever we want to do. If you're a right person, no one stop you. Yeah. Uh, you're not afraid when you go in the road in the middle of the night, even your lone girl or yeah. your boy. So that's really this is i think the wonderful country for a living for the lifestyle for the infrastructure yeah. and uh, these people always have vision again i'm saying these people even corona these people do best yeah you yeah. know and uh, everywhere you see the issues but alhamdulillah you we come out and now i can see also the saudi arabia doing well yeah. qatar also so these countries are moving well and i feel the coming five to 10 years, this is a economic hub, what I can see, because I'm always looking, the, I, I like to see the history and I like to see the where is the things are go. Very stable country, yeah. very clear in the vision mm. and people trust them. Infrastructure are ready. When you have ready for infrastructure, people come and people do the work and business structure is very easy. You want to make company one day you want to make the company yeah. before people say only three was no I have 10 years visa. a lot of plan are there mm -hmm. so i think with them always we're safe because of somewhere in the top level uh, okay whatever i do in my country but in the top level the governments or the the, the sheikh yeah. or the all the who run this country yeah. that if these people are thinking yeah. for the public for the people mm -hmm. You know, and I say these people always thinking amazing. Mm -hmm. And I will say is these people are no sheikh is heroes. Believe me, mm -hmm. the way the way these people make up in Dubai, look the picture of 1995 yeah. and look the today, today picture look, yeah. uh, is change. Yeah. So you can say heroes like you. They believe in the, <laughs> you can, yeah. You can say heroes. You yeah. cannot say it is a uh, you know. And it's not so like a Dubai. What I hear from the news, these people are not. Too much have the oil people say no oil no this is a just vision again i'm saying yeah just take today okay. one sample of dubai mm. why so successful only i feel because of the vision yeah uh, money wise is only depend five percent in yeah. the oil the rest of the thing all the tourism and infrastructure and safety and things i think now doing abu dhabi also very well and other area doing well but so far this country big success i think vision and uh, love to the country, want to do something. You look at the Sheikh Muhammad interview, mm -hmm. he said, number one, yeah. I want to do best. Yeah. There's no second option. Yeah. And, and people are saying, why are you so fast? He want, I want to see from my eyes and from my generation. Yeah. I don't want to wait for next generation to enjoy. Why this generation will not yeah. enjoy? So again, I say, when you have vision and time is very important, yeah. because when you merge together and you you're very you. clear, you can read somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Zaid. Uh, and finally, we want to know how to reach uh, for, uh, with Zaid uh, Sheets and Tits. Uh, actually, we have the website www.alzaishis.com. You can reach anytime. And our website, we have the email, we have the number. We are ready to help yeah. uh, anytime. And one thing in the end, I want to give the message to the world for the community. 
we have also responsibility not only look ourselves or our family. We are living in the community. We have to support to the community. Because when I left my father's business and uh, I start my own, I just share you one story. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, two days what happened, I don't have money for the food. The third day when I wake up in the morning, so from my balcony, I see there's a one bread shop, you know. Yeah. So I say, <laughs> how I can, I don't have money, how I can go and I take this bread. Yeah. <laughs> so then I see it's very difficult. And I say he has some, you know, the bread which is not right. So he just put on self. I say, okay, let's go there and take it. Then immediately I say, how I'm thinking. It's, it's very bad, like kind of, you know, I'm thief or what. <laughs> mm -hmm. So no, the one that day I understand when you are empty stomach, it's make you thief. Mm -hmm. So that day I decide in my life, the moment I get better mm -hmm. in my life, so I have to support all the empty stomach people in the world. Mm -hmm. So now we're making the app and this app is going to work to in the, across the world. Next year we're going to launch end of the next year or mid of the next year, we're still it's under process. Yeah. So help people, mm -hmm. only your surroundings. So I say the people can carry itself, I think, I know we can manage ourselves and we can manage our four or five member of family. Yeah. I think if we add from our uh, community or our town, one person who is a little bit down, if it's part to stop, uh, support them, I think it's very good. Because we have two bodies. Mm -hmm. One is our body and what we call soul. Yeah. Our body, if you know food, two days or one day, we get weak. Because it's a body requirement. And if you don't sleep well, Believe me, we cannot work again because it's a body requirement. Yeah. The second requirement, we have the soul. Mm. What is the soul requirement also? Help people. Yeah. You know, but because sometimes we see we have everything, but still we are alone inside. Yeah. Because of we not feel full our soul stuff. Mm. We only take care of our body. Yeah. So when we look at our soul stuff and we take care of our soul, there's one big thing when you help someone. And we can eat in the morning, we can eat in the afternoon, whatever in the night we're going to eat. Whatever we cook for ourselves, from this half meal, if we share from anyone, any one person take the responsibility, one other person, I think the world becomes so good and the world becomes so caring. Yeah. Today, so much stress. Yeah. Why? Because of everyone want to take. Everyone wants, yeah. yeah. So there stressed. No one who much more strong, one. he will take more, who weak. So from what is, what is my vision? Because business, I think I've done too much. So what I'm looking now further to help human to help instead of selfish world, how to shift to caring world. Mm -hmm. Only the one way when we start to think other. Yeah. You know, when we start to think as not in the big things. You know, sometimes today our moms and father cannot give anything. Only what they give, when you hug them, you get peace. Yeah. The caring infrastructure which we have in our house, mm -hmm. we have to bring to our town. Yeah. From town to city, city to country and country to the world. Mm -hmm. Because this caring sector, because sometimes you see our brother is not help us because yeah. he have also mm, poor me, and yeah. our family also know her but how we care yeah. this caring only the caring mindset if we bring to our town mm. i think the world is different yeah. and everyone get peace everyone get happy because when we take it so then you know who's powerfully take more yeah but when we start to help others only from our town and we take this easy only decision if we say decision from today we carry one person in our life believe me if all world decide Mm -hmm. It is a big help. And in the world, I see that 80 million people every day sleep empty stomach. Mm -hmm. is not. And only in Canada, which we say, well, good country, 4 million people stay sleep empty stomach. Wow. So that's what, that is a figures. Yeah. So that is a figure. So we have to look, you know, the people, because this life is going to finish. Yeah. Uh, we believe it's never, but one day it will yeah. finish. So when we come, we get nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and when we go, we go empty hands. Mm. So we have to understand whatever we take. Believe me, I have experience. Take whatever you take and then you get bored. Mm. This is your human character. Yeah. But only you happy, you help people. Of course, the money is very important. You try your best, but also try others, help others, and you will succeed. And you will be happy from all the area, from the sec first world and second world as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much Mr. Zaid. We wish you all the best, inshallah, in future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. مشاهدينا الكرام إلى هنا تنتهي حلقة اليوم. تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC العربية. دمتم بخير وفي رعاية الله.